everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about the Shaper 3D. I already mentioned this software before and uh, I already told you this is one of the best software for the iPad which is you can uh, use for example for your uh, creation architect project. Not only architect but I'm like an uh, architect talking about the architecture of course. So what this uh, software can do? Actually this software allows you to create any specific form or any model which is you want in your iPad. Of course you need the iPad and of course you need uh, Apple Pencil because without the Apple Pencil it's not will uh, have you not will have the all the function um, from the uh, Shopper 3D. Shopper 3D actually this is software from the Siemens. I think everyone know who the Siemens and uh, the this uh, software have the all the things what you can imagine. For example, let me I will open uh, open some project. Here I have the one project which is I created. Uh, it's not commercial projects. I just trying to uh, understand what is that shape of 3D. I trying to manipulate with that. And as you can see, we have here the 3D view. As always, we have the sketch mode here. The you can draw anything. For example, here we will create the square. Here, let me I will create it. And after that, what you can do with this square, uh, you can, for example, you can extrude it. All right, it's not extruded right now. Sorry, let me I will extrude it. Here the extrusion, as you can see, and now we can extrude it. We can extrude it in any side, and as you can see, we can allow the change the change the size. For example, let me I will say here will be five, five feet. And we can, for example, click the on the some uh, edges and make it uh, with the uh, fillet. This is pretty awesome because you are doing everything in iPad. So right now I'm doing this is on my iPad. Of course, the iPad it's not so cheaper uh, the tool and uh, it's not so cheaper the gadget. But uh, to be honest, uh, no one thinking like uh, you can create it in iPad in anywhere. For example, you are sitting in the public transport and you're creating the amazing things like for example I'm doing like these things and after that you can transfer it so this is first thing what I want to say like you can create the any 3d models and you can manipulate with that on your iPad it's, this is pretty awesome so what else you can do of course you have uh, any section things like you can say uh, uh, you can uh, cut all the things what you have in your um, project. Uh, you can transform your uh, your the 3D models. Okay, all the 3D tools here is the allowed to use. So what else? Uh, else, what I wanna mention for you right now, if you're going to the tools, you will see you have all the things uh, working with the 3D. But it's not all you have also the 2d drawings actually right now i don't have the any 2d drawings because i don't have the pro version but if you will buy the pro version or if you will use the trail version you will able to use the uh, 2d drawings like you see right now on the my screen so you will you will able to use the 2d drawings this is pretty awesome but the killer feature which is no one other uh, software I have there on the iPad, the, I should mention, on the iPad. Uh, this is visualization. Uh, it's not like 3D Max uh, or something like that software, but anyway, this is really stunning. If you will go here, the, for example, the um, visualization, you will see like, you can try visualization, let me try it. Uh, the, we changing the mode to the visualization mode, and what we have here, we have here the uh, really nice things which is uh, we can allow to change the materials. For example, here I have the material right here. As you can see, I have the default material. I can change the name if you want or I can change the color. As you can see, it's able to use uh, or you can, for example, uh, do like this. Uh, here is the our standard material. First one you can see it's default material and no, it's actually not this one. Let me, I will do like this show all the materials and I think this standard one yeah and now we can allow to change all these materials except this one the first one because we was change it anyway anyway we now can go to the change not just the color we go to the change and now we can use the type of the material which is one we use for example 
here is the plastic, uh, here PVC as you can see, uh, the silicon rubber, metal, the roughness, iron, copper, which is anything what you want, even the wood we have here and uh, any any other materials of course you can cannot create as i said before like three smacks but you are able uh, to use the riches we already have it here for example let me i will use the marble here or the concrete uh, here will be concrete let me see how it looks like and as you can see here is already the concrete and oh my god it's really incredible because uh, you are doing this is everything on the ipad here will be for example this one material okay we did it we did it let me will close everything and for example you can capture uh, everything of course i need i need to upgrade it uh, so as you can see with the two clicks you can change uh, everything in your iPad. For example, let me I will make, uh, I don't know, maybe this, this one. I will do, for example, the wood. Where is the wood? Here is the wood. It will be wood. Close this, close this. And as you can see, here is now the wood. So, what I wanna say more about the, um, about the sharper. Let me remove all the colors. Uh, you able to create any type of the form in uh, Shopper. Let me, I will open here the, for example, the my uh, project, which is I just sketching here. For example, you can what do? Let me, I will tap two times here. I forgot how to do. Give me a second, like this, and two times. Or maybe can do like this. Yeah, no, I not. Okay, so we can draw here the something. For example, let me will do here the. Uh, I will do here the something like that, and what we're gonna gonna do after that, once you will do the cycle here, you can select. You can select internal things, and now you just allow, allow to make the hole. And as you can see, just two clicks, and I already get something new. This is really incredible because again and again I will mention this is you doing on iPad. This is not uh, even the um, even the MacBook or something like that. You are doing everything on the mobile thing. So and we get something like this as you can see, pretty awesome. So if you're interesting about the shopper, maybe I will buy it and uh, I will explain you more about it because uh, the uh, like. Uh, I don't know. Before I will, uh, I was use it, but right now I don't have um, uh, any project where I can use it. Uh, so what about import and export from the shopper? Let me go to the import, and you will see. Uh, first of all, I wanna go the, to the um, type of the files. Let me will see the type of the files. Where is that type of the files? See all the supported files. Sorry, it's here. And as you can see, all the import files. It's uh, even can you use you can use the for example DWG you can import uh, you can import all the uh, type of the um, images raw images even the GIF I don't know why but you can do it uh, and STL geometry STL geometry this is geometry actually when you are using the 3D printer so anyway what you can export this is much interesting you can export OBG you can export DWG, you can export also, here is this format, uh, you can export uh, STL2 of course, and so all these formats able to use, for example, in Rhino, in Revit, in Formit 2, why not, you can export, for example, OBG into the Formit and use it there, but better OBG export, for example, oh, 3MF2, this is also the nice format. You can export all these formats to other software and you can continue work there. So let me go back. And one more thing, uh, this is maybe not so important, but I really find it really important. If you will go to the learn, you will find really nice explained things how you can use, for example, the, uh, the shopper with the any different situation for example to create some detail to create some the um, uh, furniture and create the some building 
and they doing the something like the warehouses to showing to you the some idea how you can use it so this is was so small introduction about the Shopper 3D. Uh, this uh, Shopper 3D able to use in the Mac, in the Windows, uh, also also in the iPad. Uh, I found that it's uh, useful for the iPad, so mm, as maximum as I think, because the no other software and give you so much things like the doing the uh, Shopper. I didn't find it. It's not the advertising. This is real my opinion. As you can see, I even didn't buy it because it's uh, actually this is expensive too. Yeah, about the about the um, costs. This is also the uh, really important thing. Let me will show you see details and uh, and about the cost. Uh, it's not so cheap. As you understand but this software will give you a lot of different possibilities so if you're looking something like uh, this software try it so uh, this this software have the trial version you can try it like seven days and after that you will understand do you need it or this is a nice tool you can just play around and you can just delete it Anyway, if you want to know about the more softwares, just let me know below the comments. I will try to share with you guys as much as I can. Thank you for watching. This was the first uh, overview with the software around the Beam Vault. Thank you for watching. See you next time.